Hello and welcome to the Screen Chronicles. I'm Colby. With me as always is Steve and today we're joined by a special guest for the second time and he plays one of our favorite characters. Here to discuss season five of The Last Kingdom is Mark Rowley who plays Finnan. Welcome back, Mark. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming on again, Mark. We, we love Finnan. We've, we've loved season five, the last season of The Last Kingdom. Um, mm. And spoiler yeah. alert for everyone watching, listening. Uh, we're going to get into spoilers for season five. But uh, tell us, tell us what you think of the season. What do you think of wrapping up here? It was really exciting. Um, we've, we've, we just finished the movie about a month ago. Right. Uh, so we knew we were going to do the film at some stage or we were going to do something else. Um, but we didn't know who was all going to be involved. Uh, right. So it was quite sad to wrap up and potentially know that, oh, we might not see people again. You uh. know. Um, but w- we had such a good time. It was really fun. It was really, really fun. We had a, we were in a massive bubble. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we were filming it during lockdown and no one get ill, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, good. Um, so we were like a huge family. We were like a family before, but even more so. It was like, yeah. when I explain it to people, it was very similar to a halls of residence you would get yeah. at a student accommodation, awesome. except in the luxury version. What <laughs> It was fabulous. Yeah. That, that is yeah. so cool. Now, did you know, um, I think you knew probably by the end of filming season five, but was there a period of time before you filmed season five where you thought season five was it? Or did you know the movie was going to be happening anyway? You never really know what's going to happen until the network okays it. So every year you're like, oh, is it going to go ahead? What's going to happen? Um, But we knew something was in the pipeline. Rumors always spread around. Sure. Because we were like one person in the cast and everyone knows in a week. <laughs> I know. Because when we heard it was like season five is going to be the last season, we were sort of, you know, devastated. We we're like, oh, no, you know, there's 13 books. And mm-hmm. um, to hear the movie was going to come out was uh, really like a saving grace for us. So otherwise, oh. I think we would have been a wreck at the end of season <laughs> five here. <laughs> I'm saying, you're, you're I good like good. how it wrapped it up, though. I, I love how it did get wrapped up. It didn't feel like there was anything that needed left. Uh, to be done. So, I mean, other than, you know, spoiler for everyone, Ethelstan becoming king. Uh, that's definitely the big thing I want to still see um, and how that goes. Totally. Um, I, I actually, I, I agree. Uh, they, yeah, they could have just ended it there. Yeah. Um, and as soon as we knew it was going to be potentially be the last uh, season, we are, well, I know for me and a couple of others are like, thank God we're going to get Bevenbar back. <laughs> We've been talking about it for five seasons. No. <laughs> we thought for a second that when the flames were going, that it was going to burn down and the, the message was going to be Bebember was always in your heart. It's always in and your we heart. were going to chuck our TVs out the window. <laughs> oh, God. But that happened. I'd be like, what? <laughs> As an actor, I'd be like, we've been striving for this for ages. <laughs> But it was but so just goes, let's go done. to Ireland, Lord. Let's do us. Yeah, let's go to Ireland. But we thought it was just perfectly done. You guys killed it. And we were nervous going into a last season of a show. Um, we've had our, you know, we've loved shows up until the last season and been disappointed and kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. And we were pretty nervous with The Last Kingdom being our last show that that might happen. And it did not, which was awesome. So thank you I guys for killing Ozark it. Ozark recently. I don't I use Ozark fans. Yeah, I just finished it. Just finished I haven't it. yet. I haven't finished it last season. Yet, we can't talk about it yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you know what, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, yeah. Did you yeah. like it or not? You can tell me that. Did you like it or not? It's my favorite show, but I think it could have been a better ending. It was, uh, uh, yeah, the ending was... I was just surprised it ended where it ended. Like, uh, totally. Yeah. So, um, but as a show as a whole, I don't think that ending ruined the whole show for me, though. There, there are other shows that like I saw it and then like, mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. <But> anyway, <laughs> anyway. So, Mark, last time we, there are a couple of moments in season five when things that Finn and did that we we're pretty excited because last time you were on the podcast, you told us that you wanted to. You're really hoping they would let you fight with a spear. Um, and we were talking about that, and then in the battle with the tents. We saw you yes. grab the spear. Ethel Helms camp. Ethel Helms camp. Mm. And we were just pumped. 
Yeah, I was like, finally. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> and then he got rid of it. I'm like, come on. I want I wanted a spear this time round. Even more so because yeah. I was like, look, if I use this spear, it's two meters apart. So we're COVID safe. Exactly. It, so I was like, hey, as long as I have my speed out, then people would stay away from me. <laughs> I love that battle etiquette. I love that. <laughs> then go for it. Then go for it. <laughs> and, and it and, looked good. Yeah. Yeah. And we know, too, without giving us any spoilers for the film or anything, we know you wrapped up the film here recently. Uh, how did how did you feel about that? And how did that go? Yeah, good. That was quite sad because it was like, oh, the end the end of something so significant in everyone's lives. Uh, mm-hmm. it, was, it was strange and euphoric and it had so many mixed emotions. Um, we, but we did celebrate very well. Good. Drink, drinking lots of alcohol and having fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Get, getting the swords back home were a bit, was a bit tricky because I was like, oh, I want to take my sword back. Um, and we, we managed to get it back. So I was like, yes. oh, good. You got Finn and Sword. All right. Yeah, I've got two. I got. I got oh, no uh, way. Yes. This so, is awesome. My part. My partner is gonna kill me. She's like, mate, you need you need your man cave to get your sword away. So I've got my sword. Yes. I've got the cast to sign them. That's amazing. I am loving life. Oh, that's awesome. And um, did the swords like change at all? Like every season you came back. Like they give you a new not, prop, not the or is it the no, same one? The, the real one was very much that. That was it. That's cool. Because um, we're never allowed to use them anyway, so they're always going to be intact. Yeah, we use them in scenes when we're not fighting. Okay. Um, and yeah, the plastic ones. We've got lots of the plastic ones. Oh yeah, yeah. they break quite often, especially Alex's swords. Yeah. Um, okay, because goes for it. <laughs> <laughs> And and when they break, I feel like the next thing to do is chop someone's arm off and use their arm to, uh, <laughs> That's to right. get the next person. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's right. Which was an amazing yeah. moment. Uh, but yeah, that was Tomas' idea. Oh really? Yeah. It was a fight coordinator. That that was there was a lot of crazy choreography in that the last battle, the battle at Bember, when you guys mm-hmm. come charging in. Also, mm-hmm. too. I think everyone left their feet during the charge. Like everyone did a drop kick into the front line. I, yeah, they did. They yeah. Don't. <laughs> like, you know what? I, I mean, realistically, that is not historically accurate. We we know that. But whenever in a movie they get to do like a WWE drop kick, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, why not? <laughs> but did, did you guys all play in that then, or did you all just? Did y'all just go for it? What was with that? Yeah, they just the so what happens is the fight co- choreographers they come up with the sequence and then they present it to you. And most of the time we just go, yes, that's awesome. Or we go, hmm, can we do something even more extra? And then they get stressed because they don't know if they're gonna get into trouble because yeah. of the shooting. Um but yeah, that was that that was all the stunt guys ideas for doing rock kicks. Uh, we d- ended up to we didn't have a lot of time to do it, <laughs> and the, the drop kick that I ended up doing in the rehearsal, I done a mean one. Like, okay. oh my god, I got so I didn't realize I could jump so high. And when you have a mental, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I mean, like, I mean, like took a took a guy's head off. I was like, oh god, I felt awful. And then when we went to do the legit one, uh, they put a mat down, so they they dig up the ground and then they put a mm. mat down, put dirt over it. So when you drop, you don't break an arm or hurt yourself or whatever. Right. Um, especially for the actors, because if we break an arm, then that's the day done. Mm-hmm. So they're a bit paranoid about it. But the mat <laughs> that I had to jump on, it was slightly off the ground. And so almost tripped as I done a jump. So, <laughs> I mean, I just kick the guy's leg. <laughs> 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 just, just, just take the guy out. Just, just do it low. Low. <laughs> Mix it up. Mix, Mix it up, up a little bit. Mix Everyone else is going high. I'm going low. The rest low. of the line, right? They're all getting headshots. <laughs> Guys, ready? Bam, knees. I know the poor stunt guy was like expecting a hit on the shoulder, and he's like, "Oh my god, my leg!" Oh man. 
but it was so awesome. And we like, um, it's so cool that you can still at this point in the last episode, make a battle unique with that charge. Yeah. And I mean, with the whole cliff thing, um, it, you know, it was super, super well done. It was awesome. Kind of like 300 style. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very exactly. Do, I do wish they had more spears, though. I said it all yeah, the time. Yeah. There was a few like, spears at that end. I think, but did Uhtred have a spear, I think, in the, the last battle there? Someone had a know. spear. Oh, Wallen got a spear. Yeah, Wallen got stomach. speared through a man. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, it was so awesome. And um, you had a ton of cool, like, little moments, little battle moments. I think you kick a table one time as well. And like before you chop the guy's yeah. arm off, you you use another person as a shield. Uh, so a lot of like unique Finnan specific beats, I thought. Yes, totally. I agree. That was very, very fun. Speaking of kicking the table, though, uh, that was the scene hmm. leading up to you chasing down uh, your uh, Finnan's wife and then trying to make a decision on who to save between her and Osforth. And then uh, we have Osforth's death scene which was yeah. incredibly emotional and and crazy and surprising uh can you talk about doing that scene um yeah yeah uh the, the paul the director just let let us kind of do our own thing with the scene and we wanted okay. it to be kind of real and authentic so we could talk over each other um and just give them a real kind of representation of what it would be like you know so it's not nice and pretty and, mm. and it's just someone really scared that they're gonna die i think that's what we just wanted to show you know yeah i have watched a lot of people go through especially if you watch band of brothers i think they do yeah. so well people calling out for their mothers and stuff like that it was that kind of vibe that we were going for and luckily paul just let us do it so we just ended up doing it over and over again and then that, that was that was it really um yeah, yeah, and then Baby Monk was no more. Oh, man. That was... I mean, they get us episode after episode after episode this season. Just which which main character is going to die this episode is the question we were asking. Yeah, totally. And, and Osforth. Oh, man, that was brutal. And, and you go sort of to a low, almost maybe one of your lowest points is Finn in, in the mm. show, I feel, emotionally at that moment. Um with the guilt could you talk a little bit about what it was like to sort of portray that yeah yeah it was good yeah we were gonna portray that even further with that kind of um the idea of kind of ptsd or letting someone down right um and we showed that a little bit but you know what it's like with a, yeah. to, to, to finish off a show as momentous and huge as yeah as the last kingdom it's it's really hard, so it's just showing little glimpses of that and then pushing through. Yeah. Um, but the original idea was to explore that further, mm -hmm. but due to time constraints and everything right. else, you kind of have to just push on, you know. Uh, so it's quite it's quite hard to show a journey of, oh my god, I've just missed my best friend, and then two episodes later you're having a joke and a laugh. It's really yeah, uh, yeah. I, I can understand why why it happens. It's really hard um, to sometimes play that, you know. Yeah, because time and space shows a journey, yeah. but in Last Kingdom Land we do not have a lot of time. No. So by far the pure league is very good at walking and yes <laughs> being in one location the next scene and then like straight away he's in wales yeah we call him the cross country runner That's yeah, exactly. he's always <laughs> he's running hills. in season yeah. four we're joking he's just always running he must have been ex Jefferson. exhausted <laughs> so we need a horse give him a horse what the hell <laughs> this time he had to do it when he was like gut wound like, <laughs> Yeah, so it was it was pretty uh, crazy to see Finnan get to that point, and and I love too how uh, Finnan's wife Ingrith sort of says to I think Kainleff like take him to Uhtred like that's sort of what he needs right now to get back to himself as, as at least that's how I sort of interpreted that mm. um, he needs Uhtred right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, we just want to explore that brotherly love, mm -hmm. um, just to give you a taste of it. And I think we managed to do that, which was great. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, and then later on, Finnan almost gets killed by a seagull. By yes. Way. Which, yeah. <laughs> which we want like a spinoff season on like revenge against that, <laughs> against that seagull. Or at least uh, a prequel with the seagull's back backstory right like 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 like, (laughs) come on is he like does he work for bedenberg you know what yeah but but what was it like to do that cliff scene and and how you guys are climbing that yeah yeah it's really fun well we're just like puppets all day because we're just hanging just hanging against a rock face because we had these harnesses on right so these it was cgi the harnesses out but we always had a harness on so there was a video that Honest was actually going to put out. It was really, really funny. Um, but I was going up for a really serious part recently, and I was like, guys, oh, yeah. can we just hold off with that video? It's a bit ridiculous. Oh, just okay, gotcha. Right. <laughs> um, we'll definitely hope to see it. It, de- it will come out for sure. Okay, it's cool. really funny. And it just, uh, I think it just demonstrates that day completely yeah. of... Um, just hanging, literally hanging out together. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Where did you guys do that? That was, uh, I think that was a quarry, mm-hmm. a stone quarry somewhere. Gotcha. Just outside Budapest. Um, yeah, it was a really cool location. It was really cool. I, I, apart from one of the times, it just goes to show you sometimes a film set can be really dangerous. Something fell from a crane. It was like a bit of four by four, and whoa! If that hit one of the guys, then that would have been uh, done. Wow. Game over. So that ended up falling from the crane. So that was a little bit scary. Yeah. Only things got a little bit real. We weren't concerned about the rock face, but more concerned about things above the rock face. I think they just were thinking you guys didn't look scared enough. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, don't, no, I don't care about the seagull. I care about falling <laughs> in my head and failing me. <laughs> That's funny, but uh, it, it led to a cool moment though of you guys sort of embracing when they pull you up. It was like one of our mini bro moments there. You guys kind of like, yeah, you see the relief yeah. on on Uhtred's face, and Citrix just kind of laughing uh, <laughs> when they yeah, pull you up to the ledge. Going off of that, then uh, once you get into Bebenbur, uh you you guys are infiltrating and and a lot of Constantine, his men are are Scottish, are there. Um, yes. So you're, the the plan is if you get caught. Is to just fake a Scottish accent. Um, yeah, which you did a great fake Scottish you did accent. A great by the one, way. Mark. Great, yes. right. nailed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that was the plan. That was the plan. It was. Was that something uh, they just wanted to give to you so you could you could break out of your Irish accent here for once on the show? Or yeah, I think the writer Martha. She was like, "Oh, I've got an idea about something about maybe trying your own accent because the Scottish people are there." Uh, and I was like, actually, that's really cool. Yeah, that's that's smart. That's clever. Awesome. And then go back into fitting mode again. I'd have been quite nice if they explored it further. Yeah. That would have been great. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, uh, and, and all the Last Kingdom fans who know you as an actor, uh, definitely that was like a really cool moment. Um, they were like, yeah. oh, there it is, there it is. I got some re- really uh, funny messages being like, oh my God, that was you, Mark. Yeah. It was like a mini cameo. And then I brought it myself and then went back into fitting again. <laughs> a lot of people, when they when they first saw our talk with you the first time, were actually surprised you weren't Irish. They were surprised you were Scottish. Did, I get, you get a that lot. a lot. Yeah, I get really a lot. Good. Yeah. yeah I, I like working in different accents. Right. So, which uh, ones I've do got... you like? What do, what do you like to do? Um, I like kind of RP, which is kind of like a soft London educated BBC kind of voice. Um, cool. I do that a lot with uh, voiceover games and stuff like that. And then uh, I do American. I've got an American oh. job in the summer coming up, which is great. That's awesome. So I'll be doing that. Are you allowed um, to talk about it or no? No, I can't. No, okay. okay. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> So, how's your American accent coming? How's it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. It. that's it. That's it. I, uh, I love it. I just go, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. That's good. <laughs> Every line I just say, yeah. 
Well, when I try and do scotch, I go haggis. I try and get the haggis going. <laughs> of, yeah. course, of course, Steve, Steve has his keywords that he goes to. Yeah, um, <laughs> the Irish is. Uh... It's, it's it's really bad. It's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have to say I've, I've met more people who are Scottish uh, since we've talked to you last and I get the impression people who are Scottish are very proud of being from Scotland um, yeah yeah what, what was it like for you then uh, King Constantine is in the show and exploring the was there was there anything for you that was like all right guys let's let's make sure we get this right or were you interested in anything with that yeah, yeah. I, when the Scots turned up and started battling and fighting, I was like, come on, Scott. I, before they would shout action, I'd be like, come on, Scotland. Come on. <laughs> they, it'd be a good laugh. Um, but I, I would watch the rugby as well. So I would bring all the flags in. Yeah. And I would put them on the trailers. So you'd get the Scotland flag coming in. And then I gave some of the England flags to people. And they would all the uh, all the other actors who were English. They'd, any English flag I'd give them the St George, they would lose it. Yeah, I'm like, where do you want your flag? This show is about England, the formation of England. Where the <laughs> heck? What the hell? How come I've still got my Scotland flag and got <laughs> fake blood on it? Oh like, my God. <laughs> and the Scottish king, his accent was really good. That's what I thought. Yeah, I thought he did an awesome job. I thought he was Scottish. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. You know. Uh, yeah, so so did I when I first met him. And, so, and then because um, he kept it up all all the time yeah yeah that can't be easy to do um i think it's easier to do you know what but it is it, it, i think it's easier once you just get up and running with it and you're talking it the whole time you become less self-conscious yeah you know hmm. self-aware um because when i was doing whenever i go back to film when, when i was filming last kingdom i would talk with a Dublin accent for maybe about a week just to get okay. back in with it so I don't have to think about it and then it's just there so you have it even when you're not shooting you're using the, the Dublin accent or no no so when so when we are shooting from day one I'll turn up on set and I'll talk in the accent for about okay. a week and then right, right. get rid of it uh, okay. oh I see okay I can just jump I can just jump into it oh I see up. okay gotcha that's sort of how you reset into it yeah okay very cool. Very cool. Uh, and, you know, everybody who's talked about you and when we talked with you about it last time is that you tend to bring a lot of things into it yourself. You sort of sometimes improvise or come up with ideas. Um, was there anything here in season five that you felt that you, um, you know, you had an idea that maybe wasn't in the script originally that you brought in? Um, I think the thing, I think we're always doing it, like, especially the artists myself, we're like, right, what are we going to add? Is there anything else we can discover in the scene? Sure. Or is it, can we help the scene along in any way? So I feel as if we've kind of been doing that all along. Yeah. It's so hard to spec, like pick one specific scene because mm-hmm. we're always doing something, you know? I'd have to say one of the one of the things I thought was going to happen, we talked to Harry Anton, who plays Brezel in the show, mm-hmm. Um, was and he said he doesn't know if you were thinking this too, but you guys were doing a lot of stare downs between the two of your characters when you were like so. Even when you were coming for Ethelhelm, you're yelling for Ethelhelm. He said it was really you two that were locking eyes, sort of staring each other down, sort of like revenge yeah. for Osforth. Were you guys trying yeah. to make like uh, like a duel or something happen there? Well, we didn't know how he was going to die. I uh, I think when we were filming it because. It's always getting written when you're going along as well. Mm-hmm. They have a rough plan of how it's going to go. So we figured that there was going to be some sort of revenge plot. Oh, yeah, I would have loved that. Where yeah. Finn was going to take him down and he was going to find him and kill him. But they went in a different direction with it. Yeah. Um, so we were playing those moments thinking mm-hmm. that, oh, we, later on we're going to have a, a big fight. Um. But it didn't happen. But that, but I think that makes it really interesting as well because then, as an actor, it always keeps you on your toes because you never know right. where the story's going to go. So yeah. then you create moments, and they are significant moments that we're talking about just now. But nothing, it may not come to light. Right. But it gets something in the scene. Yeah, it, it makes it feel more real because in real life, you know, that would happen. That would you would have that yeah. moment, and it just wouldn't, you know. It wouldn't come totally, so. and in real life, people don't always get revenge. You know, oh, no. we want to see them get revenge, but right. they don't. Right. 
And, and, and speaking of revenge too, there's there's a plot line from the books that, and I I haven't read this part yet, but Colby just recently did. I know with Finnan so and open. his whole revenge backstory with how he actually became um, on the slave ship. Um, yeah. And if we didn't get to see it this season, can you hint at whether or not that'll be something we see or not? Or you know what? There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Um, I would I'd hate to disappoint but we are deviating away deviating away ever so slightly from the books okay. um so we probably won't explore that as much mm. to be honest um but it's a cool bit in the book oh it's awesome i gotta uh, say that ending part and uh won't spoil it too much here when utrid started describing finnan and what he's doing with you know that, that moment where he confronts somebody yeah and he like turns his back is one of the coolest little bits in the book but well, anyway like, I, I was secretly hoping that we we're uh, gonna do that in season five i was like oh my god oh uh, my god please please because it'd be so badass because you don't you don't know nothing about finning really and then all of a sudden it complete everything ma- makes sense you yeah, know absolutely um, and, and i've always throughout the seasons i find it fascinating actually because you never really know where it's going to go yeah so you're always playing for that moment the significant moment later on right so i always was aware that i did not want to play um well it doesn't ruin it to play a, a royal member or right. someone right. significant was someone of significance in ireland right i never wanted to play status so then later on people go what that that does not how how is this possible? <laughs> like, right, you should not be that guy, and yet I and yet he is. Yeah, and the similarities between Utrid and him, where he was usurped previously, is right. similar to, yeah. to to Utrid. And again, kind of making them a bit stronger. A bit strong, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know. Maybe, maybe- Maybe another maybe maybe if there was another season, it would be Utrud trying to help Finn. And yeah. Get his thing <laughs> well, so you know, I, I brought this up before too. Um there was one of my other favorite shows, it's Psych. Uh when it ended, the season ended like years ago, but now they've been just putting out movies every now and then. Um mm. obviously mm. I I from what the title and you don't have to confirm this or anything, but the title of the new movie sounds like it's probably based off of the last book from Bernard Cornwell. So there might not be any more. It might not be anything planned. But if they were to do another movie where they do explore other characters, backstories, like the Finn in back, would that be something you'd be interested in doing down the line then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for sure. For mm-hmm. sure. Um, yeah, because he's, really, he's a really interesting character. Yeah. I like to play the lightness in scenes and you know, try and encourage people to make them smile or whatever, but it would be nice to explain, you know, the more emotional side. Yeah. Uh, things that he's hiding from everyone else. Right. And that'd be really, I think that'd be really cool. They take it down a different path. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of hiding things from people, there's another interesting moment early in the season when you need to sort of conceal something from Uhtred. Uh, and I thought this was yeah. a super interesting dynamic and how much it really weighed on Finnan because he's never lied to Uhtred and that's what he tells Edith. Well, could you talk about like what it was like? And then, uh, you know, culminating to that awesome scene where you confront Uhtred, you tell him about Ethel Fled. Uh, what was it like to, to play those moments? It was nice because um, well, it, was, <laughs> it made me ever so slightly nervous as well because oh. at the start... There's a couple of ideas that were thrown around and everything's always changing. Yeah. And when you do become not not an enemy of the truth, but um if you betray him in any way, this this it's never it never ends up good for any character. <laughs> so I was like, stop breaking these characters apart. They're best friends. I, what, what? I was like, guys, what's going on? <laughs> um, but then they wrapped it up quite nicely. Yeah. And it yeah. came from a place of love and support from Finnan to help his friend Utrid and Utrid realised that for yeah. sure um, but we didn't know where, where it was going to go potentially so we're like 
what 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 is going on there, there's like a moment where utrid like is starting to get mad at finn and then that conversation like you hid this from me and then like you see on you can just see on alex's face i feel like that he just like recognizes like oh wait i've had like years of like him being my best friend <laughs> uh uh yeah no, he's you know totally. and, and that was coupling along with because there was an idea of um utrid and edith getting together yeah that, that was a thing as well so that it was coupling with that yeah as well at the start we were like whoa what's happening they're gonna they're not gonna be friends anymore <laughs> what is, going, is Finn be, gonna become a dean or what is gonna go yeah. on yeah. <laughs> which is really exciting to play as well because you're like i i don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> yeah did, did you know because a lot of fans were were pushing for the edith and finn in uh couple going in and then you immediately have a new wife uh starting <laughs> yeah. the beginning of the season yeah was was that something why did they change that or do, do you know or I don't know. No? <laughs> we just turned over like oh okay right, right. <laughs> this is where we're going but again it makes it exciting yeah you know for an actor you get to turn up and everything is different um yeah and then you have to work around it and find new things about your character and and then plain moments significant moments uh That's interesting yeah, and then because we've done two versions of, I played two versions of the the scene where we all meet up in the, yeah. in the alehouse. And yeah. One was a, a, so slightly hostile, like, me, what are you doing here? Like, and you never get to know the backstory, but to play that as in, why, why are you here? And then the audience would be like, what the hell happened? What happened? Yes. They were so, like, going to be in love and know there's a coldness there. Mm-hmm. But they went, they went down another path, and that is completely cool, because, again, it comes back to you need time to tell stories. <laughs> yeah, right, right. We don't have time. Um, I think you still get a sense. Of, you get a little sense of it. Because, yeah. like, Finnan's not super happy to see her. He's like, oh, it's Edith. Like, it's a little awkward when he, like, sees it's yeah. her, and then later, like, after the alehouse, I think he's like, Edith is a friend or something like that like this, yeah. you can hear in finn and like oh there was something that happened um yeah. there was a connection between them. it wasn't ignored you know yeah did they give you I, a backstory or anything for 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 what happened um yeah uh steph and myself came up with one <laughs> what was it <laughs> if you're getting steph on you can ask her um, okay but i think she ended up going to frankie or whatever she she didn't want to be we were like, look, what if he just, she didn't want to be just a wife? She wanted to do more mm-hmm. with her life and help others, and she wanted to pursue medicine um, and went, didn't want to be constrained by, you know, the, the, the toxic masculinity that I suppose was a very affluent around that time. Right. <clears throat> so that's what we kind of went with. Like don't don't go. I love you. No, I'm gonna go and do my own thing. Oh, and then she turns up. What the, what the hell? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was interesting for sure. It was interesting. But you do have a new wife, and she, you know, Finnan's wife seems awesome as well in, in the show. And um, yeah, it was pretty. This cool. is really cool. She's a good laugh in real life. Yeah. And too, Mark. This is something you have worked on now since. Yeah. Uh, 2015 2016 oh, now it's like seven years or something seven years. yeah that's a that's a big part of your life and and you've spent a lot of your time i'd imagine in budapest hungary out of scotland and um what, what kept you motivated to keep going uh this time and um to keep doing all this um well, you're one number one, you're signed into a contract. So, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> let's state, state the obvious. There's a contract. Lawyers. Involved. Okay. okay. <laughs> lawyers. Yeah. Um, but then it always comes back to working with friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially for this movie, I really wanted to do it because I'd get to work with um, Arnis and Alex again. You know, yes. uh, it's so good to just work with your, pal- your pals and have a laugh on set. And, and yeah, it will be hard to. No matter whatever project I go on, it's never going to be the same as Last Kingdom. I think that was truly unique what we had. Yeah. Everyone was mates, and we're all going out having a laugh next weekend for Cav's birthday. We're always meeting up and 
That's awesome. Awesome. Friends. So I think that is the thing for me is that what will outlive the show is friendship and even with you know people that attend comic cons or the fan clubs yeah some of the people meeting up there are friends for life and you're like wow this show's done so much mm-hmm. like yes it's a great show but actually it's impacted people's lives mm-hmm. in many many interesting ways absolutely so, yeah. yeah you know certainly has for us uh, for sure and uh yeah, totally. Well, this is yeah. that. Is that you know. you know, successful podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know. Now, um, there's another moment that you have that I thought was pretty special um, in episode nine. Now, you don't yell shield wall this season, I don't think, but you do get to yell something uh, that was pretty epic, and you get to yell to Bebenberg. Oh, at yeah. That moment. Were you excited that you got to yell something like that? Yeah, I asked Alex if I could yell it. Oh, really? And Alex is lying, and I was like, "Here, Alex, can I, can I shout your line?" Is that right? I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was what, awesome. what was it like in Bember too? I mean, after you guys get it, and and you're there, you get to celebrate. Did that was that any significance for you too, just as an actor, or, um, and or even just being like a friend of Alex, getting him to play that scene? What was it like for you there? Yeah, it's eventually it's like, oh, thank God, <laughs> thank God, because <laughs> we, we got there before and then Bjorka died. Um, but it, it was just, it was nice to have a moment of, oh, this is the final chapter, the end, as it were, um, which was great. And, and so, from season five, did you have any favorite moments or favorite scenes that you shot? Um. Oh, there's so many. So actually, do you know what? The, I, I really liked, there was a day when we were filming, I think it was episode six, five or six, where it's the battle and around the tents, the camp area. That yeah. was quite cool. And that was the first day that was just really sunny and warm. Oh, yeah. Everyone was just super chill and it was relaxed and it was just nice. It was cool. just a good day out in nature and... We got to play around with the new drone. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're playing around with this amazing new drone that was so fast. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> God, it was so cool. I can't believe we actually had to... A, a call came in over the radio and it was like, um, please, can you stop the drone? It, we can pick it up on set. And it was like, oh, my God, no. We're like, we're so sorry. <laughs> oh, you mean like... It, it wasn't it wasn't to, for filming the drone it was just something that you guys were were using to it was no it was for it was like a proper filming drone but we were just playing with it yeah. oh <laughs> so they were like why the hell is the drone in the sky we don't need it now and it was just you know alex arnis and myself just playing with this <laughs> extremely fast drone just the Wessex technology. It's just their war technology that <laughs> oh, they've brought yeah. in. I mean, they've advanced. Edward's really totally. innovated. Ed- we had so many jokes about it. We're like, oh my God, this is so handy. Yeah. Like, if we could just put this in the scene and then find out where they all are. It would just resolve so, so easy. Yeah. So, so easy. Instead of just run, riding when you're looking for somebody in a random direction on a horse. Yeah. <laughs> just track, put the tracking mechanism on it. And just- yeah. yeah. Um, and so did you watch season five yet? Yep. Did you yeah. Manage it? And how did yeah. you sort of feel kind of sitting back and watching the final season? Were you, were you happy with the ending? Were you? Yeah. Yeah. I, we were filming at the time. Yeah. So we ended up watching it where we were filming, mm-hmm. uh, which was really strange. I've never had that before. Um, and then I think I got to episode four or five and then Formula One Drive to Survive came out, and I had okay. to put The Last Kingdom on a pause. <laughs> <that's> like, <laughs> uh, and especially the, the hard thing is you go from work from maybe your pickups half four in the morning, you're getting back at seven o'clock at night. If you end up watching another episode, it's just all Last Kingdom land and yeah. disconnect. Mm. So that's why I was watching Formula One Drive to Survive. It's a right. really good show. I loved it, um, but I can't. I can't dream about 
at all, all the time. Right, right, right. <laughs> I just become a villain. And then Mark will be like, who, who am I anymore? I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, do you have any, <clears throat> and we know obviously the movie will be coming out at some point, but do you have any other works that's coming out here in the new fu- near future? Yeah, I've got that project in the, project in the States. Right. Um, I can't talk about a market, right. market towards that. Um, I'm doing lots of voiceover stuff just cool. now. Um, so, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm busy. busy still, still going strong um, with the actor community? The actors community? Yeah, yeah. So, Great. the actors community, we are we're doing really well. Um, and we're helping people book jobs, which That's is awesome. awesome. It makes me feel so good. Um, and as, as well as that, we've got one of my friends... Uh, she's taking a class just now in person in London and it's so nice to go into a class and yeah. hang about with everyone and learn from all my other friends who have done other projects so, so cool. it's really it's really cool yeah has it has it changed at all since you started it back because you started it during the pandemic is it is there any differences now in the way it is set up versus oh to- to- yeah totally um it's all we're just trying to do in person classes now Oh, We've got cool. things online and we'll keep that going, but it's all about in person and being in the room. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's really, really fun. We're doing improv stuff just now, and uh, Tim was was there as well, who plays the king, and he is so funny. Yeah. He is so good. <laughs> we love him. Yeah. He's brilliant. He's so talented. Um, so watching him do his thing in the class environment is just unbelievable. It's brilliant. Yeah. So inspiring. He got you kicked in the chest, in the stomach, too, in that one scene when he just, like, wields it when you guys are all sort of teaming up on him. That was an amazing moment where it's like, um, I guess you guys called it Tim's play, and then... Well, Tim's play, yes. And then, like, you're all, like, teamed up on him, and he just, like, oh, wait, I'm in charge here. (laughs) But you had antagonized him at that last moment. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Um. It was such a hard one to play, actually. Sometimes there's a couple of lines that Finning comes out with, and I'm like, why are you saying that, Finning? You're going to get here. You're gonna for get me, you. now and again, you're really smart, and then all of a sudden, like, you see the dumbest things, he's going to kick your ass. Absolutely. <laughs> so he 100% deserved it. So, <laughs> for sure. Well, that's what happened when you diss the king. Do not diss the king in front of people. I know. For, well, Mark, we've loved having you on the podcast, you know, and, and thank you for putting your heart and soul into the show um because you know five seasons here it's it's almost perfect to us like you guys executed it so well you know nothing's ever perfect the last kingdom to us is as close as i think you could get and so just thank you for all the work you put into it and we can't wait to see the movie we can't wait to see you uh again as finnan uh in the movie do you have anything to say for the fans too, Mark? Is there anything you want to tell them? Yes. Yeah, I would just like to say thank you so, so much for keeping with us. Um, I feel as if it's a, a joint journey together. We've laughed, we've cried. Um, it's been it's been wonderful. So thank you for all your support and all, all the actors on set. They really do appreciate all the fans. I think they're the best fans ever that anyone could ask for. There's no hate. There's only love. So we really, really appreciate it. It's awesome to hear. Well, everyone, thank you so much for listening today. Um, Check out Mark's links down below. Check out the actors community if you're interested uh, in learning more about acting and getting into acting uh, and all that. And um, also, please follow and subscribe to us. We're going to be doing more of these talks and everything. Uh, But for now, it's like we always say goodbye and destiny is all. Destiny is all. Destiny is all. What? <laughs>